Hello guys and welcome once again to my channel if you have been here and if you haven't it is so nice of you to pass by I hope that you hit that subscribe button and if you're already subscribed make sure that you turn on the notifications so that you know when I upload so for today's video I'm going to be filming this makeup tutorial and it is mostly Colourpop products so if you want to see how I did this just keep on watching Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do as always is prime my eyelids. This is going to first of all cover up any imperfections that I may have on my eyelids and also make sure that the shadows stay put all day and just don't move or crease. So then I'm going to be setting that primer with the first shade that I'm using and it is Distress. This one is from the one of the two I Love Sade E palettes and it's a nice matte neutral shadow and then I'm taking the shadow Freckles which is also from one of those two palettes. I'm not sure which one it is. I'm mixing both of them and also I'm using two other shades that are not in the palette. But I'm taking freckles and I'm applying that all over my crease and also my outer corners. Then I'm taking the color Noche and I'm applying that in the deepest part of my crease and also bringing that down into a little bit of the outer corner just to intensify and smoke out the whole look a little bit. And these shadows are super buildable, which basically means that the more I apply, the darker they get, which is pretty awesome because it makes it super easy for both a beginner and an advanced person to use them. Because if you are a beginner, then you want to build up the color slowly. You don't want to go in with something super pigmented and then it would be harder to blend. So it's good that they're buildable. And if you are a pro, then I mean, this never hurts. It's always a good thing. So yeah. And then I'm taking once again freckles and I am just blending out the rough edges around a noche. Next I'm taking the color Tiny Tangerines which is such an odd name for this shade because when I hear the name I think of like a peachy, orangey, tangerine type of shade. But no, this is like an aqua blue pool color and yeah, I just think that's funny. But I'm just applying that all over my lid and this is a beautiful shade and even though it's like a foiled metallic shade I was able to apply it with a brush which is a big plus and then I'm once again taking Noche and just kind of blending out where they both meet. I just kind of go back and forth between both shades and just blend out the edges between both of them because I want them to overlap and look kind of gradient. Then I'm moving on to the face and I did already prime out my face but now I'm just applying some foundation and I'm using my Anastasia Beverly Hills stick foundation which is a really really good one. It's just so easy to use the fact that I don't need like an extra brush to apply it I don't need to pour it on my hand or anything it's just so easy to use and then I'm blending that out with this buffing brush from Tarte which is no longer being sold I think it was a holiday thing but you can find buffing brushes everywhere I mean there's one for Morphe that I really like the 439 there's also one from Real Techniques that I really like so it's easy to find this type of brushes but I'm just using this one and then moving on to concealer, I'm using the new ColourPop No Filter Concealer, which I just reviewed last week. So if you haven't seen that, make sure you check that out. I do like it. I think it's a good product, but it's not the most pigmented concealer that I own. But it is still very good, especially for the price. And I am blending that out with my Pure Cosmetic Sponge. Then I am setting that concealer with the same sponge and instead of using my La Mariska Secret Burning Powder, I have lately been really into my RCMA No Color Powder. I used to avoid this powder because I don't like it for the face but for the eyes, it's proven to be really good. Now going back to the eyes before I finish with the face, I'm going back to freckles and applying that on my under eye just to you know tie everything together and then I'm taking the color two piece which is a beautiful royal blue and with the exact same brush I'm just reapplying kind of like on top of freckles I wanted them to kind of blend as opposed to be two different colors I just wanted them to blend together so with the same brush I'm just applying that right on top of freckles and then lastly I'm taking vivacious which is a beautiful kind of shimmery pink and I'm applying that in the air corner it doesn't look too pink but it's kind of like a rosy pink I don't, it's like a silvery pink I don't know I, I can't describe it but it's beautiful and then I'm moving on to bronzer and I'm applying the new Colourpop bronzer which I really really like 
and then for highlights i'm also applying the new colourpop highlights which i also really like it's very pretty but it's a very subtle and natural looking and for blush i am applying from hourglass i can't remember which one it is but it's from their trio palettes so yeah i'm applying that and then for mascara i'm using my tardiest pro mascara which i really like the finish of it it just runs on me sometimes but i really like how my lashes look with this and to finish off this entire look i am applying a lippy sticks from colourpop in the color only you but i thought that it looked a little unnatural on my lips so then i topped that off with the gloss from i love sarai and this one is in the color curvy and that will bring us to the end of this look thank you so much for watching I know that this was a super short tutorial, but it's a simple look, but I really like it. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And also subscribe so you don't miss any of my videos. And thank you again so much for watching. Bye.